So basically, this is what the tack column looks like right out of the package. Um, you'll notice that there's two um, spacers here. They actually put the um, shortest ones in already when you purchase it. And it comes with this little baggie. And basically, it has different size uh, spacers. And what you can do is um, you can adjust these to the size that um, your child needs based on the length of their neck and also based on uh, the degree of their tilt. So since the top collar is designed for uh, babies as young as four months all the way to 10 years of age, um, it's going to come at a larger size. It's probably going to be a little too big if you're using this on a baby or a toddler. So what you'll need to do is get some scissors and you want to trim this down to properly fit your child's neck circumference. Um, when you are trimming it down, you want to be careful not to cut off too much because once you trim it down, it's going to be too late. It's not, you're not going to be able to make it any bigger if you trim it too short. So in order to trim down your top collar, what you would do is you would just see where this little white piece is and you just pull it apart like that. Just get your scissors out and just trim down as much as you need to. Um, and then when you're done trimming it to the point that it fits your child, you just push it back together like that. So this is the top collar um, right out of the box. And then this is the one that we've been using. This is how it looks now that we've customized it to fit our daughter. Um, as you'll notice, I have two top collars. Um, I accidentally misplaced this little baggie of spacers for my first one, so I needed to get another one in order to get the new spacers to adjust for my daughter. Um, in addition, I figured it would probably be good to have a larger top collar on hand um, in case my daughter grows out of the one that I already trimmed down. Um, we purchased these top collars from topcollar.com and they were nice enough to give me the second one uh, at a discounted price. So now I'm going to do the, um, show you how I put the top collar on my daughter. Um, she, just to warn you, she may cry or protest a little bit when I'm putting it on her. However, once it's on, she's usually fine. Um, so she has right torticollis, which means she tilts her head to the right side. Um, so the spacers are going to be on the right side of her head in order to keep her head midline. Now if your child has left torticollis, you want the spacers to actually be sitting on the left side instead of the right side like you'll see on my daughter. So when I get the top collar on my daughter, I want the first spacer to just sit right behind her ear and it will be sitting and resting on her trapezius muscle. Now when I put this on my daughter, what I'm going to try to do is get her to look to her left side because I want to be getting the spacers on her right side. So I'm going to distract her with a toy so that she looks in her left direction. Um, and then I'll just put this top collar on as quickly as possible. Once the actual top collar is in place and fastened, you just want to make sure it's showing, um, it's sitting at the right position, which I usually try to aim to go right behind that ear and then sitting on that trapezius muscle right here. So I'm just going to show you how I swap out these spacers. Um, basically, when I first tried this, what I did was I pulled out one of the tubing outside of the spacers, and then I had a harder time just pulling the other side out. So what I found was easier to do put this back in was what I found is easier is if I just ease out one side just a little bit on one side and then I ease out the other side just a little bit and then again I do the same thing on the other side and the same thing on the opposite side and I just continue alternating and easing it out just a little bit and that makes it a lot easier for me to pull out the spacer Putting it back, um, putting a new spacer back in, I find is even easier. I just put the tubing into the spacer, just a little bit on one side. Put the tubing 
into the spacer just a little bit on the other side and then I simultaneously push it into place. Um, also again these um, spacers can be adjusted and moved alongside of the clear tubing on the top collar and you can move them to the spot that you need them to be for your child. So a few final reminders uh, about the top collar. Um, first, if you notice any redness or irritation on your child's neck, um, you may want to purchase some stockinette. You can purchase this online, um, pretty inexpensive. Uh, basically what you would do is, you would have two openings like this, and if it doesn't, you can always cut it to make it so, and you would just feed the top collar through the stockinette, and then one ends out and the other end is out here and then you just fasten it like you normally would. Secondly, you want to make sure that your child is always under your supervision while wearing it. You never want to leave the child alone with the top collar on. Um, you never want to allow the baby or a toddler or child to be asleep with the top collar on. And finally, you want to make sure that you can fit one adult finger between the top collar and your child's neck. You want to make sure that they can breathe properly, properly with it on, so not choking with it or it's obstructing their breathing in any way.